Hello and welcome back to Witchcraft. We are here back on back on the server, making more progress, standing next to the beacon we got going last episode. And I've got a lot I want to accomplish today. So uh, I think we're going to jump straight into a time lapse and I'll actually explain what's going on while we uh, get some work done extra speedy. So swap over to the camera account and yeah, let's uh, we, we got some work to do over here. All right, so over next to this big hill where I eventually plan to put my nether portal, um, it seemed like the perfect spot to have my uh, build for what's going to eventually be kind of a, uh, my idea of what like a Norse witch hut might be. Uh, something in that sort of vein, something a little bit more old school looking, you know, maybe have some custom trees around that'll be sort of darker shadowy you know drapey kind of willowy looking trees maybe you know something sort of to to take it to that sort of swamp place a little bit make make this area seem like it's like 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 you're less welcome there maybe um you know the type of place that maybe the, the villagers won't won't want to go there so uh this area over here next to the where the nether portal will be uh seem like a great spot for that so i gotta get cleared out uh, so that way I can build there. We will be building after I get a lot of the infrastructure done though. So once we get the space cleared, we will shoot underground here to see an area that I had previously cleared in the vicinity of where uh, I knew I wanted to put this build. And this is where we're going to be building two farms. Um, so the idea is I wanted to build for um, a an XP silo essentially. I want to you know, use have a, a silo where I can store XP and I can just go and if I want to quickly get some XP, I can just go grab an item out of a furnace and bam, I've I've got all this, you know, XP in my in my on my person and it'll be great. Uh, the idea mostly being for uh, quickly repairing in a pinch. Uh, of course, I'll still you know, regularly go to mob farms or something like that to to repair my gear and mass. But if I'm doing, you know, like a ton of digging or something, maybe I'll just go hop over there, you know, spend the 30 seconds it takes to go grab th something and repair a pick, something like that. XP on hand, as it were. So in order to support that, I am going to need a ton of uh, cactus and bamboo in order to run this smelter based XP silo. So we're going to build two farms, uh, an Il Mango zero tick cactus farm and an Il Mango zero tick bamboo farm. So what I'm building first is of course the bamboo farm, getting it all up and running down here. Uh, it's a really cool design. I wanted to get the zero tick farms in now uh, so that way I can run them, set up some storage and you know, build a huge backlog of, of uh, materials, so that way when Zero Tick Farms go away in 1.16, I won't have to worry about where am I going to get enough materials to run these XP silos, because they use a ton of items in order to fill up on XP. So yeah, I'm going to get these farms built, and then when 1.16 drops, I'll probably just replace it with conventional farms to maintain the stockpile that I've already built up. I'm going to go ahead and make the next farm, but rather than have you sit through another time lapse or something like that, while I make progress on this, um, I'm going to take you uh, to a few places around the server and we'll see what some of the other people have been up to. There's some pretty cool builds already uh, being done, so let's go take a quick look and yeah, I will meet you back here in a little bit after I have built the next farm. Yeah. All right, we should be approaching the mob farm that Zing has set up. Should be rendering in momentarily. Should be right around here in the desert. Um, I mentioned Zing had a, uh, a hostile mob farm up and running, and it has been fantastic. There it is. So you've got this big beast, which I think this might be a Doc M design. I don't remember if this is a Doc M or if it's like most other things in El Mango. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, he's built this here in the desert and it is wonderful. As you can see, 
even now it is is it running i thought i saw water oh it is running somebody left it on there's nobody online uh but anyway so yeah i will probably just go ahead and turn that off so that way that's not doing anything um the afk spots up there but yeah we uh dug out this perimeter i helped zing with that one night and yeah it is pretty cool but I flew over uh, from Spawn, or, well, actually from Zing's area, um, where you would normally come in through the nether portal, is down here, and yeah, this is really nice. I, I really like this. This is pretty slick. So he's got sugarcane farms on either side uh, for um, paper to go with the gunpowder you get from creepers. And yeah, this is just really slick. All of the drops from the mobs come down this chute and then they uh, get sorted underneath and then launched back up and put through these uh, water flows up here into their respective storage uh, areas, which is pretty rad. Um, but yeah, I think it's very it's a very simple look, but I think it works really, really well. This uh, like inverted pyramid thing looks pretty cool. But yeah, so this is the mob farm on the server. Zing did a great job with this. It looks wonderful. Um, and now if we... Oh, I'm running a little low on the old rockets. Alright, and so if we continue... On the next thing, another thing that Zing built, which is pretty freaking awesome as well. You get my bearings. There's the mob farm. There's that. Okay, it's this way. Is uh, we were working on a guardian farm. I helped him tear down some of the monument, but 99% of this work was definitely uh, done by Zing. So if we hop through this portal. Here is the Guardian Farm in all of its glory. I really like this look uh, with the uh, dark prismarine and the gray concrete. And I think he was going to put like cyan wool, uh, cyan carpets down on this maybe. Yeah, it looks really nice. Very clean. I like it. As you can see, all these Guardians are just dropping down here. Drops are getting sorted automatically either side. And it does have a manual killing setup for repairing your gear and things like that. Oh, but I have to kill a few of these to get back to the... There we go. All right. So, oh, hey, I got a guardian head while I was at it. But yeah, this is pretty sweet. Uh, if we fly up here, uh, I know he's in the process of adding... Um, additional beacons uh right now we've got resistance i know he wanted to put a regen in as well in the other corner here i would assume but yeah this is looking super good i'm really pleased with how that turned out looks good zing but as you might see i've got some wool because there's some missing black carpet here and i told zing when i popped over here i would fill this in but i Apparently did not bring enough. I did not think that this area was quite that big. I'll need to, uh, there's a couple of black sheep near my uh, base. I'll have to hit those up and get some more wool because I don't really have any ink sacks. But yeah, this is the Guardian Farm. I'm not sure whose design this is, but it looks really nice. My gut wants to say Iskal, but I, I don't know for sure. So don't quote me on that. But yeah, this is a super great addition to the server. I'm really glad that we have this now because, oh boy, repairing gear has been a ball ache as well as, of course, these uh, prismarine drops are, you know, very welcome for sea lanterns especially. So yeah, um, these are pretty much the two big things I wanted to show. Um, let's go check in with what sort of progress has been made. 
but yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna back slowly through this portal, and uh, I will uh, I'll see you at the base in a, in a moment. Uh, okay, let's see what progress I've made. If we come over here to the way down, all right. Oh, so as you can see, lots of progress has been made. Uh, the cactus farm has been put together. I've got my water streams linked up and are running up into some storage, which I will show you in a moment. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, these zero tick farms, um, like I said, they're going away in the next update. So luckily we're building them now, getting a nice stockpile up while they're, you know, these crazy efficient, kind of kind of almost almost to the point of being cheaty farms are uh, here and available for me to use. So the idea is if you zero tick blocks uh, and apply uh, enough of these updates to these crops, they'll grow extra fast. It, it's it's essentially abusing the way the game handles these uh, block updates and things. So it's not like a an exploit exactly. It's just using the uh, game's code against itself, essentially. So nothing crazy, but you push these blocks back and forth really fast and, you know, you grow the crops faster than they normally would. So I can go ahead and show you both of these in action. Turn this guy on. And if you look up there, you can see the bamboo is growing very fast, getting knocked off over there and going down the uh, water path here. If we come up here, we can see a little better. As you can see, the bamboo is flowing nicely. Um, go ahead and turn it off for the moment. And then same thing with the uh, cactus farm. Here is the on switch for it. And if we look, you can see cactus is just popping off like crazy. Um, also, quick and dirty system for getting this into a water stream. Uh, there's a dozen different better ways that I could have done that, but eh, it works for now. So it shoots it all in and across and up. And we'll silence those things and take a look at the storage area upstairs here. So if we come in here, here is my storage. I may have enough storage, I don't know. I mean, I could totally expand this, but but hey, it, it works. So this side is for bamboo, this side is for cactus. Just got uh, the water streams, chest to align it over the hoppers, pretty standard. Uh, this is sort of what I'm working with, just, you know, a funnel system that funnels all of it into these two hopper lines, essentially. This is what I'm what I'm going for here. So these two hoppers will come down here and around, and they will link up into this room where a row of these uh, XP silos will be. They're tileable, the you know, slot in right next to each other, and this will be in the basement of my quote unquote witch hut. Um, so it's like you come to the witch, you make an offering, you can come in and use the. Uh, XP, you know, you can you can gather some magic down here. Essentially, it's kind of the idea. Uh, this will also be where my enchanting setup will be. Probably has silos along this wall, and like an enchanting room uh, over on this side. Uh, you know, just since it's access to quick XP, why not put it in here? And yeah, so uh, I've been running this a little bit, and so you know, it's it's you know been filling up pretty nicely, and. Yeah, so nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, just plenty of storage to fill up. So, next thing to do for this project will be to, of course, uh, get the witch hut built with the uh, silos locked in over here so that way I can pipe in the uh, materials so that way they can start running because it'll take, I think, something like three hours for each like little silo slice to fill up. And, and be essentially maxed out on the XP to where I can should be able to take the one item out of the 
furnace and it'll you know reset itself and it should be enough xp to fully repair an item so that's the idea so i've kind of laid out what i want to do here there's the water uh, columns that go down so this is sort of the size area i'm looking at so the hut will sit here um when i build it and this will be sort of roughly where the stairs and and the room is i was mostly concerned about the height so that way I knew where to put the storage system, so that way it plumbed in nice and easy, no fiddling, nothing crazy. So yeah, uh, next step for this project will be to build the hut and get that plumbed in. But, alright, so while that far, those couple farms over there are running, I actually kind of want to take a break from that project for a little bit and do a couple small things. Um, first, I think it would be kind of fun if we went over here to what's going to be the mine. There was that lava flow that was going down. I cleared that up a while back and dug a little bit of a mine going around, and then I started to blast it out just a little bit. This is all super rough for the moment. But what I eventually want is for this to be a nice decorative mine that'll come out here, and then there'll be a mine shaft, sort of a man-made mine shaft, because I'd like one in this position. I'll make it look really nice and, and decorate it all up and everything, but it'll lead down also to my branch mine um so yeah i thought it might be fun if we blasted this out momentarily i uh, say so this is actually the uh, natural cave Oop, that was unlucky this is a natural cave uh under the village and this is the back corner of my storage room so nothing crazy but yeah, I think this would be fun, so I'm going to swap over to the camera account real quick, and let's blast, let, let, let's, let's blast some things, huh? All right, well, that was a decent sized hole that we made today. Um, I'll have to craft up some more TNT. That was the two or three stacks that I had at the moment. Um, yeah, so I'll have to craft up some more to blast a little bit more of this out and then clean up the sides and get it all decorated at some point. So, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for this week. Um, yeah, we, we got a decent amount of work done. Those farms are uh, getting all set up and and, and filling up the, the storage, and I'm feeling, feeling pretty good about it. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate having you here. If you like this episode, leave a like. It helps me out so much. 
And as always, if you really liked it, want to be notified when I upload new videos, that sort of thing, be sure to subscribe, uh, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. But anyways, I will see you guys on the next episode. Should be good. See you later. Bye.